Welcome class to a new lesson. Today we will learn about a simple concept with the help of an example of Tower of Hanoi. So what is the concept? Well, many a times you come across a big task which seems hard to you. For example, you are given too many 1 rupee coins and you are asked to count all of them. Or you are given too much of homework and you have to do it till one day. These tasks seem hard at first, but it really helps if you can break these down into smaller and easier problems. For example, you are given 10 questions to solve as homework. Well, you can start by doing two problems, take a break, then then two more. And in this way, you can complete your entire homework. This is a concept that we will try to understand today using some examples. The first example is of Tower of Hanoi. Tower of Hanoi is one of the most famous mathematical puzzles. What is the Tower of Hanoi? What is this puzzle? You can see in this picture, it has three pools and a few round disks of different sizes. Let's try to understand a simple version of this Tower of Hanoi puzzle using two disks. There are three poles or towers in this puzzle. The first pole is called as start pole. The last pole is called as finish pole. And the second pole is called as extra pole. Along with the poles, there are a few disks of different sizes. In the beginning of the puzzle, they are all arranged in the start pole. For example, in the picture you can see there are three disks of increasing sizes placed on the start pole. So now that you know what the puzzle is made of, let's try and understand the puzzle. Here it is. You have to move all the round disks from the start pole to the finished pole. Sounds easy, right? But there are three rules that you have to follow during solving this puzzle. The rules are as follows. Number one, only one disc can be moved at a time. Number two, only the uppermost disc can be moved. Number three, no disc may be moved on top of a smaller disc. Seems complicated, does it? No, it's really not. Let's try the Tower of Hanoi problem using two disks, a simple version of the problem to understand in detail. So how would you move these two disks from the start pole into the finished pole by following these rules? As you can see, this is our big task. And as we learned in the beginning of the lesson, we can solve a big task by breaking it down into smaller and easier tasks. Let's give it a try. How to solve this puzzle? We can solve this by doing only a set of three actions over and over again till all the disks from the start pole are put into the finish pole. What are these three actions? Well, when you have even number of disks, for example 2, 4, 6 or 8, you have a different set of these three actions than when you have odd number of disks, for example 1, 3, 5 or 7. For even number of disks, the actions are number 1, move a disk from start to extra pole, then move a disk from start pole to finish pole, and then move a disk from the extra pole to the finish pole, and do these three actions over and over again till you move all the disks from the start pole to the finish pole. Similarly, for odd number of disks, you do number one, move a disk from start pole to the finish pole. Number two, move a disk from start pole to extra pole. And number three, move a disk from finish pole to extra pole. Sounds easy, right? Enough of this theory, let's try it ourselves. 
Here we have two disks. Since 2 is an even number, we will try the first set of actions and do it over and over again till all the disks are moved from start pole to the finish pole. The first action is to move the disk from the start pole to the extra pole. Now move a disk from the start pole to the finish pole and now the third action move the disk from extra pole to the finish pole. Hooray! You did it! Congratulations! We moved all the two disks from the start pole to the finish pole by doing the three set of actions only once. We had to do the three set of actions once for now since we had only two disks but as the number of disks increase the number of times we will have to do the set of three actions can also increase. So with this example what did we learn today? We learned that a big and hard task can be solved by breaking it down into smaller and easier tasks. We did the same for this example of Tower of Hanoi where we split a big task into smaller and easier actions and we did this over and over again to complete this complicated and big task. So class, I would urge you to try the same Tower of Hanoi puzzle using three disks now. Remember. 3 is an odd number. With this, we end today's lesson.